Achieve Now presents Spelling with C.K. What do you have there, Slink? I drew a picture for a story that Spork wants to tell. It's about a duck that finds a magic wand and turns all the world's candy bars into pieces of stale bread. Spork is going to love that picture. Do you know how you would spell duck? Um, D, U, C. Great job spelling the sounds in duck. Remember that C and K make the sound K at the end of words with short vowels. Let me show you. D, A, K. A is a short vowel. So you spell K with C and K. Um, what if it's not a short vowel? Good question. If the k sound is not after a short vowel, you spell it with k, like in sync. The k comes after n, which is not a short vowel, so you write k. Would you like to try spelling a word now? I'm ready. The first word is back. Um, b. A, K, B, that's B. A, that's A. Now I need to figure out if this word ends with a K or a CK. Right. The rule is that you write CK after a short vowel. What do you think you should do? Um, A is a vowel. And K comes right after, so it must be CK. Great job. <laughs> the next word is milk. I can do this. M, I, U, K. N is M. I is I. O is L. Um, I remember the rule says that you use CK after a vowel, but L is not a vowel. So, I should just write K instead. Nice work, Slink. Remember, only use CK after short vowels. Huh, really? I didn't know it takes 12 pounds of whole milk to make one gallon of ice cream. 